Without Jeff, my day would be a lot more difficult. I know some people, you can give them a manual, they'll go line by line by line by line, but then if line number eight's missing, the whole thing falls apart. With him, if there's no line number eight or line number 10, he's still gonna get it taken care of. Each job is a little bit different. I absolutely love the unpredictability of whatever you're coming up upon. I get a task assigned to me during the day, I'm not gonna say I can't do it because that's just not in my vocabulary. I will do it, I will get it done, and I will fix it. The job Jeff does is very technical. The stuff we do is mostly cutting edge stuff, and sometimes it's a little bit uh, high stress, and I mean, as you can tell, that just rolls off his back. Once you've been deployed overseas and been in a situation like that, you have, you know, outstanding decision-making skills that you have to decide in split seconds of, of what you're going to do. So, you know, I give you a task, it's going to be done. I've known Jeff for over 14 years, and I think his most outstanding quality would be his leadership. It's like ingrained in him. The crew will automatically just follow him. I don't even know if they realize it, and that just tells you the kind of person he is. It's all about the people. When I got to Iraq, I became the team sergeant and team leader. The first team they pulled me out of, they said because my team was running so well, it was the only one that they figured they could pull the team leader out and start another one, and the team still would function on its own. A lot of times when you're a manager, you're just standing up there by yourself. And when it comes to Jeff, he's one of the guys that has your back. When we returned back here to the States, one of the guys' dad came up and bear hugged me and said, thank you for bringing my son home. I really, truly found my calling by being in the service. I'm Jeff, I'm an AT&T technician, and I'm a 16-year veteran of the United States Army.